Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all another one of my Cardfight Vanguard Market Price Watch videos for January 2019. Wanted to bring an update to the Price Watch with a bunch of different cards, either increasing or decreasing in price, based on the upcoming sets we have. A lot of them being uh, Gold Paladins. I know that Golds are receiving a good amount of support in the Miyagi Academy Booster Pack, and with it, it's affected a lot of different uh, cards from premium format price-wise for Gold Paladin. Plus, we have a lot of other different cards uh, in other sets that have been affected for the uh, decks uh, that we'll see in this video. So let's go ahead and get started. So for the first uh, card on the list, we have a Free Traveler. This card's actually seen a lot of play in premium format with uh, Dark Irregulars being a thing. It's actually picked up and been one of the major decks in premium format based on all the different decks revolving around No Life King, Death Anchor, being able to loot pretty well with a lot of the uh, premium support. I wouldn't be surprised if we see like a hit on the list. As you can see here, this card used to be, I think I picked up a couple for 20 cents at one time. Now up to, you know, $8 for a minimum, $10 max uh, for this card. You can see fluctuating in a lot of these different prices here. It's insane, really, just like how crazy this card's price has gotten. It used to come from Rampage of the Beast King, which is a very old set for sure. So if you have this card, you definitely want to, uh, you know, either get rid of them now or if you're planning on building uh, Dark Irregulars, I don't see it being reprinted anytime soon. So you might want to uh, at least have some investment for that card later on in the future. Like I said, with the upcoming Revival Collection, we don't really see any support grade 2 wise. I think we're guaranteed like a Stride, a G-Guardian, and um, the Stride Fodder for the um, cards in that set. So grade twos and all that are out. So I don't, like I said, see this, unless they make it like a promo, you know, like the signed promos you see in local card shops. That's the only way I'd see it, you know, and even then if it's the prize one with the sign, it'd be even more difficult to get for sure. But for some other uh, support, uh, Musketeers being a, another one, uh, receiving a good amount of support in the um, card shop side is what I call the booster set, but it's the set with Gold Paladins, Neo Nectar, uh, the Ultra Rare Miracle Collection, uh, receiving a good amount of support for Neo Nectar in that set in the form of the uh, token support. But people who wanted to build in premium, you know, these strides and all the other support, the generic support, if you want to go pure Musketeers, the trigger support you haven't received in that set, all that support. You need uh, big ones, which are the strides, like you can see here, Mira being pretty good value. I think she is only uh, double rare at that, so being able to get her for a pretty good price, as you can see here. Some of the other Musketeer stuff is a little lower, just because it's a little easier to get, being only rares and commons, obviously. Some of them, you know, wanting the newer forms, like Sylvia here, you'd prefer the standard obviously but some of the other support still cheap since it's only commons and rares obviously but these bigger rarity cards you can see mira here and even uh white clover musketeer is a couple dollars since i think you can run you know maybe uh cecilia as your main grade three and then have her as a backup for some of your other cards now this one was actually shown to me by a friend uh, with along with the dark irregular support i was really surprised that yellow bolt had gone up in price this much uh with the whole point of the card uh, being this price lightly played then shooting up to the 12 to 13 dollar range is quite insane for sure i never really thought it would get this big of a card but i think it's just really good you know uh starting uh wise if you ride this card you can obviously use the effect since you won't be attacking first it's just that soul charge setup that darker regulars really really need for sure just being able to set up your soul with the different grade threes for the no life king plays in premium format is very very important and even if you have this card on rear guard with yellow bolt being able to get that soul charge set up is vital for sure nothing else really you know does it as well as yellow bolt based on the fact that um you know we haven't really have to pay a cost for this card it's just resting the unit which like i said turn one if you open up two of these you have that soul charge right off the bat which is pretty awesome for sure some other uh, support, we have uh, Link Joker actually getting support in the form of the Deleters in the upcoming uh, booster pack uh, with Deleters, and I think we do have some Star Vader support in the form of Short Shield for uh, those cards. So you can see the heal trigger from the Galaxy Stargate for Link Joker being the Stargator Megalonic uh, Stream. It's actually, I think it might have always been around the 4 to $5 range, might have gone up in price a bit. Since then, if it's not already been around this price, it kind of went off the radar with me with some of the other Link Joker cards being kind of low in price. I think it's because we're 
waiting to see just what the full support release for that set will be. You can see Messiahs are very low, but I don't think we're obviously getting any of that support since that's kind of in the uh, G uh, territory with other cards like Chrono Jet, Asha, and Alt Mile as well. Uh, but Deleters and Starvaders are definitely fair game since we've seen other support, you know, from the series, including Musketeers, uh, Nightmare Dolls, you name it, all that support. So as we've seen in price increases before, we're going to see it with the Starvaders, obviously, whether it be with uh, these cards or some of the other ones uh, for sure. Uh, another card I wanted to take a look at were some of the cards from the Answer of Truth real quick. Uh, just go through. Uh, these are all prices. It's I know ahead of time before the actual official release, but we have had a pre-release uh, before then. So we have um, some of the SVRs here. Himiko being the big expensive one, uh, you know, quite shocked me there. Uh, Gear Chronicle not being as much and, you know, even seeing, I don't even think I see Leopold here on the list as being it, unless it's completely sold out, because I doubt it would be, you know, um, cheaper than the Vanguard Rare version of the card, but still pretty good prices for some of the triple rares as well in this set. So, if, I, like I said, you, uh, when the set first comes out, that's when you'll want to invest in the cards because they'll all be, you know, flooded the market and saturating uh, just with everyone buying the product, obviously. Um, they'll obviously go up in price. We've seen it done with uh, plenty of other decks beforehand, but uh, all these higher rarity cards that you see with the SBRs, if you pull them, then you can obviously sell them for obviously more than what they're worth. But other than that, uh, keeping it, I'd say... You know, good investment. It's what I always like to invest in for sure. The Secret Vanguard rares and any kind of SPs and all of those kind of cards seem to very well hold value over time compared to normal foil cards that, you know, risk the reprint and all of those different types of cards as well. Uh, now, a big one I wanted to go over was the Gold Paladin support. We, I think it's the biggest, or, you know, not biggest, but the shortest gap between sets for the same clan. I know that Royals had support in the Psyqualia Strife, but they had a good number of sets in between them before receiving the support. I think they had one set in between the Ultra Rare Miracle Collection and the... Uh, upcoming Miyagi Academy booster pack before golds receive more support. And with it, we're seeing crazy increased prices on all the strides for golds. Uh, both the Gurgwits you can see here are around the $10 range uh, for the first one released, and then, you know, $16 range for the second one with the additional drive check. So Gurgwit Helios and a uh, Holy Sword Gurgwit. Uh, if you have like an old Gold Paladin Premium deck, you more than likely you have both of these strides available to you. So it's a good chunk of money uh, set aside if you're looking to get rid of those cards for sure. And not just Gurgwits, but you know, uh, Raining Dragons also holding that value, which are pretty much all staples that should be found in those decks. So if you have them and you know, you're not going to be playing Premium, definitely the time to get rid of them with this hype with all the Gold Paladin support. People are going to want to play as well in you know, premium format with Raven Hair and Blonde Ezel being available. So these are the times to get rid of these cards for sure. We also have, you know, uh, some other cards uh, increasing in price. Uh, Bowmanes. This is, I think, one of the shortest time periods for price increases for cards. This card, it was, you know, very down on the release, but uh, we're seeing less and less uh, Ultra Miracle Collection boxes available. And this is, like I said, one of the most expensive triple rares for standard I've seen so far. And just because of the fact that it's very much needed for the Blonde Ezel decks being an amazing ride target for the Superior ride for sure. So if you got them now, uh, consider yourself lucky. If you were thinking of getting rid of the deck, now while Bowmanes is up is definitely the time to do so. Uh, some other cards. We have Narukami coming out in the Miyagi Academy booster pack as well. So some of the uh, Dragonic Vanquisher strides have shot up in price. Same with the uh, G-Guardians. All stuff that I've said in the past. Uh, stuff that can't be found in the standard format. G-Guardians, strides, that's where the value is for premium cards. Those are the cards you want to you know, hold on investment-wise. Get rid of when the prices are up. Because these are the things that people will be looking for during premium format. Now, this one I actually found uh, quite funny. Uh, compared to its standard form, I think, which is around 20 cents, Cruel Dragon. Cruel Dragon from, you know, the original format 
is up to $20 for near mint. You see a moderately played one here for $12, but still an incredible price. I think re people are really trying off the different decks with the Grade 4 Nouvelle and Cruel Dragon just being the fastest card to use for the Superior Ride into this card really does, you know, speed up the whole process with Nouvelle. So very interesting that this is the, uh, you know, play they decide to go for, but it also makes the most sense to choose this one as that card for that, you know, obvious play. It wasn't that expensive some time ago. I think it was actually in the single digits, if not, you know, two to three dollars, and it just shot up, obviously from a buyout more than likely, but still there on that price because people want to play this deck in premium. Uh, a couple other ones just to quickly go through. More deleter support that I've seen. Uh, Rondu of Chaos and Salvation came out before the Stargate Booster Pack. So uh, this support uh, with deleters being a guaranteed thing. If you want to play deleters in premium, you obviously need the strides. Like I said before, um, this goes for Igorg as well, which is even more expensive, but it's also a much older card as well. Now this one I might actually see in the Revival Collection too when it comes out, just for the fact that we see deleter support coming out and it seems more than viable as one of the most requested ones since it hasn't seen a reprint in any other set obviously and people will want to play uh, I believe the leaders more than anything else for a premium format and we also have uh, cosmetic snowfall Shiryuki for the Murakumo uh, you know clan more support in the upcoming set with Link Joker also. We were confirmed Shirayuki support, so her stride uh, shot up. I think there's only one left for sale, so quite crazy there. Uh, her original form, I don't think, is going to go for as much because she's going to be remade in a standard form, but her stride for sure. Uh, we'll see some, especially since her new form still works with the whole Shiryuki Grade 3 gimmick that her old self had as well. So can't wait to see uh, just what this deck can do also. Um, one little thing I want to point out, the most expensive SP I saw for sale was uh, Shizuku, even more than Olivia at this point, just being almost $300. I don't think there's that many for sale. Yep, just one for sale, but all these SPs from Bermuda have always held value. I'm very curious to see what the Bermudas will hold in the upcoming, um, I think it was called Chocolate uh, Divas. If there'll be any SPs, you know, I think that's a one thing people definitely want to see, I think a lot of people will be disappointed if we don't see SPs. So definitely it will be cool to see what they do for that booster pack as well. And then a couple other cards. Uh, Omniscience Dragon, Baloro, I think is his name. Baloro. Uh, it's actually gone up in price quite a bit as well from the uh, Zoo booster pack. Uh, just with great nature support coming out. This is a trend we see with almost every clan that has received support with good strides. So definitely look out for that. And lastly, we see a Raven-Haired Ezel. Now, this card is confirmed to be getting a new form in the Miyagi Academy Booster Pack as the, you know, uh, successor to Ezel, we want to call it. So having this card now, I would say get rid of them if you're looking to move any cards just because people are probably going to want the new form of Raven hair for their decks and not really see a need for the premium one anymore. Still having value because people are obviously using them now with Blonde Ezel in premium format, but when the new one comes out, I don't see this card being used as much. But that is it for the video. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, once again, I always love going through these price watches with you all, just seeing what's changed with the cards. And I'll definitely be doing one for Miyagi Academy when that one comes out as well. But until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Qualia out.